Okay, Swedish job, Sundance rejects. Oh yeah, I have to turn off. Can you turn off with themes, please? I would really appreciate it. Mm, shit. Mm, One of my buddies in high school used to pre-workout and pound monsters. He had a heart attack at the age of 18. He lived, but everyone at school was freaked out by it. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My alarm is set at 7am. It's already past midnight. Shit, Pals, go to bed! Mm -hmm. Okay, Tangia is off. Would you? Mix it up as off. Would you? We're chilling. We're starting. Mr. Internet Historian, start. Yeah, yeah you shouldn't put that much strain on the body for sure. Okay. Boost up the video. Three, two, one. Real story. Although dramatized, the following is a true story. I'm ready. The heist. Stockholm, December 22nd, 2000. Oh, Gentlemen, close to Christmas. The Swedish National Museum. 90,000 square feet of priceless artwork. Only two roads in and out. The police will be ready. <laughs> Walking away with the goods won't. Wait, these are his friends. He's done collabs with them. Be easy. Smash and grab job, huh? Okay. Not quite. First things first, a distraction. At exactly 4:55 p.m., five minutes before the museum closes, we blow up two cars outside the Grand Hotel and the Strand. What? Naturally, fire trucks and police will be dispatched. What about the guards in the building? Only one. <laughs> And he'll be busy ushering everyone to leave. Now, we get ourselves armed and approach. Meanwhile, two of us are already inside waiting for the signal. Once you hear oh. those explosions, put on your balaclavas and take out guns. Get on the floor! Don't move! So the standard disarm the guards and get everyone on the floor. That's right. Okay. Then one of you stay in the lobby while the other two make your way upstairs and into the gallery. Now remember, gentlemen, <laughs> no browsing. We're here for three paintings in particular. Ooh. Conversation with the Gardener and Young Parisian by Renoir and a soft like portrait Renoir. by Rembrandt. So how do we crack the safe? There is no safe. No security cameras or alarms either. Wire cutters are all we need. Wait, they're that poorly secured? I guess people don't really rob things in... In Sweden, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amateurs. We bag the goods and bust out the front door. Dummies. And we're just supposed to walk out of there with the three paintings and not get stopped? Yep. Won't take the police long to catch up. That's what I'm counting on. A little surprise I prepared earlier. Oh, shit! And from there, it's an easy walk to the docks where we've got a boat ready. We skim around the waterfront and down the labyrinthine canals of Stockholm and make a beeline for Melar Lake. Then we dock in a wow. quiet area and make it on foot back to the road. Let me guess, you already have a car waiting. Of course. Mm. Mm. We drive back to the city, get back to HQ, paintings in hand. And congratulations, boys. We've just robbed the Swedish National Museum for an estimated... 30 million dollars. But how are you gonna get those paintings paintings inside into the hotel? Yeah. Thank you, Westwell. Thank you, thank you, Westwell. Man, things from museum are kinda hard to sell later. Ah, uh, there's there's big black markets for stolen paintings. It's very common. You just have to go to the right people and know who you're talking to. Make sure they're not uh cops but yeah it's possible absolutely and even if they're copies of the real thing they they can sell as well mm -hmm. and that's exactly how all of it played out the next day the police had cleaned dumb, up the torch cars and they were quick everything is hard when you're dumb <laughs> Questioning staff, getting any clues they could about the suspects. 
They didn't have any faces. They didn't have any DNA evidence. It was a professional job, and there was very little to go on. Mm -hmm. Until someone came forward. Police. A witness. An old man. <laughs> I, I was working on the river when I saw three lads speed off out of the area in an orange boat. Did you get a good look at him? I, you know, but they seemed suspicious, so I followed him. Followed him right <laughs> through the canals into the main line. I this. And right <laughs> to the shore where they parked their vessel and abandoned it. Abandoned. <coughs> Very sweet. Can you show us where on the map? I. <laughs> so the police sent out a couple of cars Hi. and found the boat. Here it is. Nothing inside. No paintings, detective. Damn. What about the registration? Nothing, sir. Well, I guess mm, the only thing we can do is mm. put out a picture of the boat and ask the public for help. So they published pictures of the boat in the local newspaper and asked people to come forward with information. But it's probably stolen. Why would you do that? The next Maybe day. someone knows, huh? Oh, it's my boat. No, the boat owner paid the police a visit. I'm Pa Lundmark, and that's my boat. What happened? We'll ask the questions. <gasps> well, I just sold the thing last week to three chaps who looked a bit suspect. Did you get their names? Afraid not, sorry. Although, when I sold the boat to them, they asked if they could use my trailer to transport it. And? Well, I said yes, but only if they gave me their phone number for safety. Ah. Well, have you still got it? Yep, here it is. I wrote it on the back of the receipt. And this is where everything unraveled for the thieves. Home. Because despite all of this Ocean's Eleven style bullshit, they had used their real phone number. Why? Not even a burner phone? Not even a burner phone? That's like the most classic thing you have to do. You have to get a burner phone for this. They gave their real number linked to their real names, man. Oh my god, a bunch of ding-dongs, dude. So police looked up the number and everyone they had called. We've got a match. The number was connected to a gang of petty thieves. They were not uh. big time criminals. They had done small stuff like car thefts, drug peddling, and so on. They were not criminal masterminds. This thread of evidence- Well, that's why they did that one silly little mistake. Yeah, that small time little guys making one little mistake. Damn, boom. Operation over. Led to two men serving sentences in a minimum security prison 10 miles from Stockholm. A Russian named Alexander Petrov and a Swedish national named Stefan Nordstrom. Nordstrom? But wait, wait. these men were behind bars. NordVPN? They have an airtight alibi. Right? Well. Turns out they are considered low-risk prisoners, which means they are allowed weekend furloughs. Essentially- Oh yeah, in Sweden, uh, small-time prisoners who do small petty crimes, they allow them out of prison on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 um, it's interesting. You get the weekend off? Yes, you can go and do, like, like, go and do stuff. Mm-hmm. When you say out, like, out, like, out into the public. Like, you are allowed to leave the prison. You are allowed to leave. It's not like... Yeah, they're not breaking out. They're not breaking the rules. Because the punishment is time not ruining your life. Yeah, and you can see how that worked out for them, so I don't Clean. know. They're just doing jail as a day job. And yep. while good boy Petrov had returned from his weekend away, Nordstrom had not. So police uh -oh. went to work searching Nordstrom's empty cell. Aha. Lo and behold, Nordstrom had been doing a bit of light reading. Uh -oh. Collections He's of newspaper inspired. clippings from past art heists. Very subtle. On top of that, 
Nordstrom had reportedly been visiting a bunch of auction houses in the area. They were clearly Two the painting bandits. Fox. Now, here's the thing about art theory. It's a difficult game. Yeah, Unlike jewellery or other valuable goods, you can't just offload these anywhere. You need a buyer who has a lot of cash. And is so he probably contacted a bunch of people on his non-burner phone linked to his real name, and that's how they're going to find this shit out. Also, thank you, Kame. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's kind of over. I don't know how they're going to drag this out for another 20 minutes, but we'll see. He's willing to take a huge risk themselves. Mm -hmm, Possession mm -hmm. of stolen property is a crime, and they wouldn't be allowed to keep the paintings if word ever got out. Sure. So essentially, they had $30 million in unsellable goods. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? So, what do we do? <laughs> oh, we could sell it to a billionaire in China. Okay. Okay, do you know any? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I thought so. So shut the fuck up and think of something better. Whoa, Why don't we just ransom okay. it back to the museum? That's not the worst idea in the world. That sounds like a terrible idea. December 28th, 2000. Wait, they're serious. Six days after the robbery. Petrov's lawyer approaches the police station. Hello. Yes, hello. I am here on behalf of my client and acting as an intermediary. We have your paintings. Oh, Dog. shit. Da -da. I am here to negotiate it safely to your return for a modest sum. <laughs> uh huh. Interesting tact. This is, of course, completely illegal. Lawyers Extortion. can't just negotiate ransoms for their clients. Got any proof you have the paintings? Right here. The attorney then revealed hostage-style photos of the stolen art. Really? With, like, newspaper clippings and everything? Complete with that day's newspaper. <laughs> no, not the ball gag! What the hell? Right. So who are these clients the of yours? ball gag on the painting Can't say. here. Lawyer, client, confidentiality, and all that. Right. Right. Well, Okay. Let me just have a chat with my supervisor. The police feigned interest, but there was no way they were going to pay a ransom when they could simply catch the guys. Mm -hmm. So instead, they stalled and placed a surveillance team on Petrov for the next time he met with his attorney. A couple of days later, that meeting took place. Mm -hmm. And surprise, surprise, they're not alone. Nordstrom had turned up as well. Nordstrom VPN! Wait for it. See you soon. Take care. <laughs> now, now, now. Go, 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 go. Go, go, The go, police go, go, moved go, go, in go, go, on Nordstrom. Go, 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 go. What the? No, I'm no. innocent. Save it for the judge. Ah, what do we have here? Those aren't mine. In a moment Burglar of sheer King. genius, Nordstrom had decided to bring with him a bag filled with Polaroids of the stolen paintings. Is this how you get your kicks? What the heck? Why? These... <laughs> this is why you don't buy off more... bite off more than you can chew. They were just petty crime guys that thought that they could get away with this and then... <laughs> Polaroids of the painters, man. Oh, sick. Get these to the lab. Later, Their the lab found Petrov's fingerprints all over the Polaroids. With this evidence, they obtained a warrant to raid a cellar that the gang frequented. Look everywhere. They may have left the subtlest of clues. Anything that can even give us a scrap of... Detective, here's a date book literally showing all of the details of the heist. <laughs> Lay nails on road, blow up cars to distract police, safe and goes into museum with a gun. Quick lunch break. Gotta have your lunch break. We all pull out our guns, steal paintings, rush down boats, speed off to Millar, return to Stefan's apartments, return some DVDs. This is all before Christmas as well. They should have uh, written down like, oh, I'm going to go see my mommy and my daddy. Fuck Christmas. 
Today the guys were kind of mean to me. I hope it's just because they're nervous about the big art heist job that we're gonna do. They want us to wear masks and use guns, but my mask is pretty itchy. Oh no, and the guns are really loud and hurt my ears. Oh. I'm really, really excited to be rich though. <laughs> Including all of the co-conspirators. So nice work, detective. So good, man. Thanks, detective. Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, is it? It's time for a you montage. Oh. Well, we got the bad guys. But there okay. was a problem. They hadn't recovered any of the paintings. Uh, they had searched the cellar top to bottom, the homes of the criminals. They had questioned all of them, and no one Where was giving the up paintings? the goods. Where are the paintings? Hello? Oh, shit. What is it, honey? Is it the paintings again? <laughs> She's kind of ugly. I just can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> They're out Where there somewhere. Paintings chat. <laughs> just come back to bed. Chat. No. Married them. Wait, he's got his undies. I think I'll go on. for a walk. Can you see his little bottom? The bottom. <laughs> Young Parisians. Policen. Couldn't sleep either. No time. Rumors are circulating that Renoir's The Conversation is going up for sale. Count me in, detective. I just have to get suited up. You're gonna need something a little less... official. We're going... Yeah, or obvious. Undercover. Oh, shit. Add time. Time. Okay, quick hypothetical. Let's say you were single, and I also happened to be single, and we were browsing the web together, right? Yeah, and then you said, you browse oh, the let's, web? let's go on this website. Would you let me use NordVPN? Oh, okay, shit. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't mean, no, I'm not being serious. Although, okay, you're drowning, right? And okay. I rescue you. Okay. And you don't have a boyfriend. Okay. And I'm like... Oh no, I have to give you mouth to mouth or you'll die, right? You'll die. And I don't know how. And I want to Google it. But I'm worried about my data falling into the wrong hands. My Could data. Could I use NordVPN then for 70% off? Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Shit. Uh, okay, we're in the Amazon forest and we're like walking together. But not, not too close, obviously. <laughs> and a snake bites you. Oh my god. No! Uh, and I have to suck out the poison. But then I remember watching this documentary, right? And it was on like snake bites and stuff. And I'm going to watch it again and I'm going to save your life. Oh my god, it's region locked. Oh, Do you mind no! if I slipped in a little Nord VPN? Oh my Not god. even for 70% off? No! No, I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing. Could you imagine though if I use Nord VPN right now? Like for oh real? My God, no, 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 I'm not gonna use it right now. I'm not. I'm not. It's it's, it's dumb. But like, no one's around. If I was to use NordVPN, no one would know. No wait, Can't where are you going? Want NordVPN oh, right wait, 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 wait. NordVPN lets you use six devices on one account. You can use one of mine. Your boyfriend won't know. Like, like, watch this. I just type in NordVPN.com/incognito and I get seventy percent off a three-year plan, and it's done. Where are you going? I can treat you better and keep your data safe with NordVPN. Oh my god! He's dead. Oh god. Oh my god. Wouldn't have happened if you got NordVPN. <laughs> yeah. Add over. Add over. Swedish police set up an undercover agent to infiltrate the ring and to buy the Renoir. Wait, the wait, 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 hold, 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 what? Undercover agent to infiltrate the ring and to buy the... Cute anime girl, cat girl costumes and other official business. Sad, are any of you businessmen? Are any of you businessmen or policemen who have this little suitcase? 
Do you have those? Cover for undercover VTuber? I don't know. I'm not undercover. I am pretty blatant as can be. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I wish. <laughs> I need it for a meeting. Yeah, you just roll up in a cat girl costume. The Renoir. The detective would be posing as a representative for an interested buyer nice. who was standing by. Why? Why? But they'd need confirmation that the painting was the real deal. Big piss. That's piss. him. Are you wearing a fox girl costume? Are you a fed? I think no, I am a fox yes. girl. Are you the buyer? What the hell? That's me. <laughs> I represent a very wealthy and very interested client. <laughs> but of course, before we can start negotiating, I need to know that we're talking about the real deal. Oh, All right, shit. mate. Come with me. The undercover agent followed one of the men into the bathroom. Okay. And then he sucked what him off. Think? That's that's quite something. Come on. My client will be very pleased. Okay, okay, okay. What do you say to 200k? <laughs> That sounds acceptable. <laughs> uh, in, in fact, it's quite low. My rich buyer probably would have paid a lot more even. Whoa. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Hey, dead end. They both washed their hands and exited the cafe. Seconds later, police came screeching around the corner, yeah! sirens blazing. Yeah! Sorry, fellas. It was me the whole time. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, right, we've never met before. Well, book em, boys. Oh, you fucking mug! <laughs> this guy's VO is so bad, I love it. Oh my god. Thank you, Troll Baron, as well. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take you down! Oh, I broke! They had done it. Partially. They had retrieved okay, one okay, of the three one. paintings. And they had a bunch of new leads. The cops oh, rounded oh, up oh, even oh, more members of the oh, gang. Oh, Among them, Alexander Sasha Lindgren and an Iraqi, Baha Kadum, as well as three of his brothers. Now, <laughs> remember these lads, we'll be coming back to them. But even though they rounded up I all love the guys, editing. It's only so funny. one man would have charges oh, against him that would stick. The rest walked. And there were still two pieces of art out there. Los Angeles, four Wait, and a half years later, downtown hell? LA. The FBI are working on a routine case. It's a drug bust with some Bulgarians. Nothing too. Oh out of the no, ordinary. not the Bulgarians! Until they heard something. Unusual. Hello, I am from Bulgaria. Yeah. So we've got Renoir's young Parisian for sale. Mm, Is that mean. code for something? Are they human trafficking? Chief, I believe it's that painting that was stolen from the Swedish National Museum a few years back. Oh, mm. shit. Yeah, we want to get it out of the city. Sounds like it's going to be on the move soon. No one's going to take our credit. We're the FBI, damn it. Infallible. Pillars of competence. The FBI is So they ramped up surveillance. The Bureau intercepted a call from one of the gang's higher-ups. Boris Kostov. It's time for a good old Buddies. fashion stakeout. Mm -mm, mm -mm, the FBI mm -mm. waited outside Kostov's home until they saw him load up a small painting-sized package into his yeah, car's corpse trunk. Sized corpse yeah, corpse-sized corpse package. Yeah, we got it. I told him to be careful. Should be eight tears of rips. We're going in. Get down, get down, get the fuck down. The FBI swarmed. Kostov surrendered. We've got a captain. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, the big prize. FBI wins again. So they opened the bag and found... Dry cleaning. Yes. Wah, 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 wah. Who would have guessed? Really? Shit. Crap. Rest them anyway, boys. Typical feds. So they pull Kostov in. Okay, I'll be good cop, and you also be the good cop, because people like it when you're nice. Good thinking, Captain. Look, here's the thing. You surprised us with the laundry. Okay. There's whites. Very white, by the way. I'd like to know who you use. But the thing is, we've been telling Mr. you for Clean. months, and we know about the drugs. And that's the bigger deal anyway. Oh, yeah? You got any evidence? Yeah, all of this. The overwhelming amount of evidence means Kostov is definitely going to be found guilty. And that means possibly 30 years in prison. Yikers. At his age, this is effectively a life sentence. In a corner, Kostov broke. 
Yeah, all, all right. All right, I know where your paintings are. I want to deal. Kostov agreed to assist the police. Good choice. Now take us to the paintings. Kostov led the police to a local pawn shop. Down here. <laughs> As they guys. entered the basement, Kostov pointed to an art folio leaning against the wall, wrapped in towels and a grocery bag. They unraveled it, and surely enough, it was the young Parisian. And in good oh, condition, wow. too. Bingo. Two out of three. The only one remaining was the Rembrandt. However, with Kostov as an asset, uh, authorities now had a way to find it. Uh, <laughs> Give me the other painting, Kostov. Oh! I don't. But oh. I. Oh. Yeah, okay, I got contacts in Sweden. Wait, no, that one was Chris over again. I know people in Sweden who know where it is. So it's not here in LA? No, it's back in Stockholm. You sly bastards. But how do we know you're telling the truth? Psh, Sorry, psh, psh, psh. That's okay. Because. Yes. Because. Yeah. What? Because the person who has it. <gasps> yes. Is my own son. <gasps> Alexander Sasha Lindgren. No! Oh my god. He's gonna rat on his own son. You think you think a real dad would do that? I don't think I would. <sighs> Man, I'd be hard pressed to snitch on my own kid. I that would be freaking freaked up. Yeah, number one dad, and nope, he's bad. Absolutely, you guys are heartless. Yeah, no honor among thieves. I guess. I guess. My dad would have, but it depends on what it was. <laughs> man, you, man, you guys are kind of heartless, man. Yeah, and parents are out there that would. I would like to think my my mom and dad would take the L. I'm not gonna lie. Not know, gonna right? lie. Kostov was willing to incriminate his own son to avoid jail time. Wow. Anyway, back to Sweden. <gasps> Witcher music. In Stockholm. The son, oh, Lindgren, was book. being pressured by his associates, Baha and Dea Kadhan. Those are the guys from before, by the way. To sell off the Rembrandt. It's been almost five years, dude. Are you gonna sell this thing or not? Well, I do enjoy looking at it, but I suppose you're right. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. FBI makes a call. Sweden, my man, I got a tip for you. I can't understand you. Yeah, speak, speak English. Put someone on the line who does. Okay, thanks. Hello? Hello? English? Hello? Okay. Cool. Hablos ingles, por favor. We have a tip for you. The FBI tells Swedish authorities to put surveillance on Lindgren and the Cadhums. Lindgren, unaware that his father had betrayed him, would be caught up <gasps> in the sting. The art of the hype 2007. But if they were going to pull this off, they would need to call in their top dog. Part scholar, part daredevil. All right, I have no idea why he's written this way in all the articles, but we're gonna go with it. The king of the sting. The defender of Dali. The guardian <laughs> of Goya. Half scholar, half daredevil. And 100% man. With an alignment of chaotic good. He'll Kick teach you about ass. the classics. Then he'll teach you to make love. Robert K. Erb. Whitney. Cat, look away. That was lewd. He's so cool. Wow. Part five. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. September 15th, 2005. The meeting had been arranged. The Cadham brothers are on a train from Stockholm, secretly followed by police the whole way. And as they sit in their seats, in the hand of one of the brothers is held is the a small painting-sized parcel. Police could have arrested them then and there. Hopefully it's not laundry. They would have had the brothers red-handed. But that wouldn't be enough. It would be a simple possession of stolen goods charge, and the police wanted to catch them in the act of selling the painting. So they stood by. Kostov and Whitman arrived at the Skandik Hotel. The Cadhams and Lindgren made their way too. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. They hey, said killer. in Sweden. Do you guys want to do the deal now or grab lunch first? No, let's just get this over with. Okay, come with me. Come oh, on, son. Shit. Let's throw the old... Football around. <laughs> what that? Come on, son. I I still can't believe he's throwing his son under the bus. That is so sad. Look, Dad, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 
I'm proud of you, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in jail soon. <laughs> Whitman led Catherine up to his room. The room had been thoroughly bugged in preparation. I hope you like Swedish Corona. Mmm, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, he said Corona. When was this book? When was this made? Three years ago. Oh no, 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 no. I mispronounced it because it was a Freudian slip because of that. I'm gonna have to count it though. No problem. Whitman knew he had it. He could see the look in Cadhum's eyes as he greedily counted wow, the money. Wow, Corona. So, uh... Crinkle, crinkle, you crinkle, like crinkle, crinkle. Mm hmm See any, uh, good movies lately? He's still crinkling. You know, there's a delightful restaurant down. It's very hard to count when you keep talking. Oh. <laughs> All right, and that's 200,000. Amazing. Five years of holding on to this painting, seeing all of his buddies go to jail. For 200 grand, it would all be worth it, and it would be over. Well, we got a deal. <laughs> Baha they then stood hands? up and left the room with the cash. Hey, wait. Baha went back down the lobby and was making his way to the exit. Wait, what's happening? Baha walked right out the front door of the Why hotel without anything? saying much of anything. What the hell's going on? Has the deal soured? Has our cover been blown? Is this a cross? Police on standby were starting to get nervous. What the but hell? Whitman was staying cool. Seconds passed. Just hold steady. Minutes passed. What? Stay cool. What? They're getting away. Stay cool. And then... They came back. With a different bag in hand. It turns out oh, the crap. bag they had before was a decoy. They were using it to see if any cops would be drawn out. Now that the deal seems solid, they brought the real thing. Oh, Got shit. It. He actually played it cool. I thought they were gonna let him get away. That is smart. He held his cool. Hold, hold. It's like when I say hold, Chad. Hold. Cadham returns to the room. He held and the Whitman police. examines the painting. That's the real deal. Danish SWAT is standing by and ready to swoop. Whitman spoke the code words necessary to launch their raid on the room. Would you like an orange? Orange uh, red. <laughs> My favorite color is orange. Uh, okay. I mean, orange. <laughs> black. The <laughs> That's me playing knee cave. I was a policeman, and they're like, orange, <coughs> orange. <coughs> I said. Orange? Uh, anyway, Orange thanks for the money, but, uh, we gotta go. No, wait, let me arrange you a cab. That's okay, we'll walk. <laughs> the SWAT team burst into the room as Whitman jumped into the bathtub, clutching the painting to his chest. The SWAT team quickly overwhelmed the stupefied suspects. The arrests of Baha Kardham, his brother Dia, and the betrayed Lindgren went off without a hitch. Whitman emerged from the bathroom victorious. What a giga chat, actually. Women swooned, men swooned, oh I'm swooning. Jesus, what a man. Looks like you're caught by the police. Wow. Yes, well done, Whitman. And we would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for your sly doggery. Thank you. Now, take it <laughs> away, boys. <laughs> Whitman held the painting aloft. It was now safe. He returned it to the Swedish National Museum, and the timing was perfect. Because in just a few days, they would be exhibiting a show on Rembrandt anyway, and they not only had him back, but a story to go along with. The, the painting was unveiled as the centerpiece, this time behind glass, and with a specially assigned security guard standing by its side. Aww. So the Cadham brothers and Alexander Lindgren were convicted of receiving stolen goods. However, their sentences were overturned by a Swedish appeals court ruling that they had been provoked into the crime. Well done. But, what? as for our hero... They sold a painting and they got provoked? Crime does pay. Well, Truly. Whitman hung up his cape, and nothing 
has ever been stolen again. The end. Yay! Amazing! Clap girls! Clap girls! <laughs> you courts! <laughs> They solved the crime at what cost, though. What a man! What a giga chat! Chat, everyone, though. Very nice video. <laughs> Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck the fucking shit on. Calm, piss myself. Fuck, 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 fuck. Piss, 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 piss,